Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take a look at configuring your store's location, currency options and how to change the appearance with great ease using WooCommerce. You can see on my screen now I'm looking in the general settings. You can get to this at any time by going to WooCommerce and then settings of course and naturally it will default to this tab. So the first thing we want to take a look at is the location settings of the store. This is really about where your store is located. So the base location is what you would first choose, of course. This store is by default in the UK. Uh, maybe you're in Uganda. You could set that to Uganda, of course. Uh, then you need to also define the selling locations and the default will be to sell to all countries. Uh, now, depending on your product, that may or may not be feasible for you. So if you want to change that, you can change that to specific countries only. So maybe you're in Uganda, you only want to ship to Uganda. Uh, you can easily do that. Maybe you'd also like to ship to Australia, you can just type that in. Just below this, we can set a site-wide notice. And as you can see, this is a demo store for testing purposes. No order shall be fulfilled. That's the default one. You can change it to be anything you like, of course, just so long as it's something of value. Uh, it's a great little feature that you can use just to pump out messages across the whole store. You could even use it to let people know of a sale or a discount coupon or something to that effect anyway. I'm just gonna turn this off for the moment. And just below this, we can see we can enable the REST API and it's turned on by default. And having it enabled will allow developers to access your store's data from outside of WordPress. So, if, you know, from an external application uh, would be a good example. And is pretty useful if you're not the developer, but you have one that you're working with uh, to create some kind of solution for you. Of course, if you have no need for it, you can very simply turn it off uh, just by unchecking the box. Just below this, we come down to the currency options. And as it notes, this is just going to affect how prices are displayed on the front end. The default currency is of course the British pound and you can change this to anything you'd like. Pesos, any kind of dollar and so on. You know, the list is quite extensive. We're just gonna change this to US dollars for the moment. And below this, we can set the currency position. Uh, at the moment, it's going to be on the left. That is the default. You can put it on the right, perhaps a little bit unorthodox, uh, or you can put it on the left with a space so it just has a nice little area of white space in there. And then we get down to the separators and decimals. Now, obviously the setup of this is going to depend where you are. Uh, the decimal separator for, say, the United States, for Australia, uh, and the United Kingdom is going to be a full stop, but certainly in a lot of places in Europe, they use a comma, though for the thousand separator it is already a comma, which is more or less the default anyway. And thereafter, we can just set the number of decimals. Obviously two is going to be the default and you can change this up or down based on your individual requirements. Thereafter, we come down to styles and scripts. As you can see here, uh, we've got some options for editing the front end styles of the store. If you wanna find out what each of these will impact, you can just simply hover over the question mark. You can see primary is for calls to action, price slide, and the layered nav UI, secondary is for buttons and tabs, highlight, very self-explanatory there, uh, and so on. So if you wanted to actually change these, you can just click in there and you can manually type in a hex code if you'd like, but alternatively, you can just drag the color picker around so we'll just change it to something a little bit brighter there and finally we come down to two options the first is to enable the light box which is when people open a product gallery it will appear in the light box uh, provided by woocommerce and then just to be able to enable enhanced country select boxes which is similar to what we've just seen up here uh, when you want to have something like this and you can just type in and it will search through there for you but that's all that we need to go through in this video. It's just how to configure the finer parts of your store, such as your location, countries you sell to, currency and currency display settings, and just some really simple and easy ways that anyone can change the front end styles of their store. Once you've done making any changes here, of course, hit save. And if you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed it, hit subscribe for more.